It's KEXP in Seattle. Welcome to Jazz Theater, and uh, welcome to these wonderful musicians here with us in the studio. It's kind of a christening moment for me to do a live in studio in this room. Great to have Brian Blade and the fellowship here in the studio and uh, part of Jazz Theater for this Sunday night. And great to have this band in town, as always. Brian, welcome uh, once again. Thank you. Thanks, last man. time I was thinking this, yeah, last time it was the Four Seasons and, uh, and the <laughs> Symphony Hall, and today it's like uh, the Mark Queen and uh, uh, different s set of circumstances, as it were. But <laughs> great to have everybody here. Let's go around and introduce the uh, fellas. On the bass, Mr. Chris Thomas. Chris Thomas on bass. On the uh, sartorial award of the band, definitely um, it's uh, Myron Walden on saxophones and bass clarinet, Melvin Butler on saxophones, soprano and tenor saxophone, and uh, John Coward, a great uh, composer, producer, uh, harmonium, harmoniumist, harmoniumist. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, uh, here in the band, and uh, we're gonna get things started um, with some music, because uh, that's what it's all about. I was gonna request that you start with Stoner Hill, but I understand that's in the cards anyway. And uh, this is a real place. I, uh, for one reason or another, was attracted to the title of the song, but there actually is a hill, it is. Stoner Hill. And you're from Shreveport, and you are in Shreveport, and you are, will be in Shreveport, and that's a, that's a place in Shreveport, huh? It is. It is. That's where I grew up. And um, my mother taught uh, kindergarten for 25 years at Stoner Hill Elementary School. And uh, that's it. That's yeah, it's a real place. You're a PK from there, right? Uh, yes, yes. My father, this is his 54th year as pastor. Wow. Zion Church in Shreveport. So it's, they're going uphill, man. <laughs> yeah. Let's hear the music. Stoner Hill, it's Brian Blade Fellowship Band, KEXP in Seattle, 90.3. Music Matters.
Mm. Man, gorgeous. It, it's an honor for me to be in the, in the same city with you guys, but to be in the middle of the room, and not only in the middle of the room, but like sitting as part of the band. Uh, uh, let's tonight. Yeah, let's do <laughs> Put some monitors around me. This uh, Stony Hill from the 2008 release, uh, Season of Change, one of four releases from uh, Brian Blade Fellowship Band, uh, the most recent of, of which Grammy-nominated Landmarks. We're going to hear a couple of tracks from that. Um, Brian, may I say, um, in talking and being in the middle of this group, that for me you've kind of brought the, a kind of a, a focus onto this word fellowship, like for me that this band has made that word real for me it's always been in the course of you know my life or just moving around this this word that you hear see you run across it it it, it kind of means something and kind of doesn't in an abstract way but for me like with this band and i have to assume it's the same for all of you getting together uh, periodically to perform together it, it this is it feels like fellowship to me, and the, and the music expresses that, I think, to me. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's, I mean, I guess it's a, a big idea, but, you know, essentially that's, that's what we want the music to, to uh, bring to people, this, this idea. You know, God has given us this gift of the music, but of each other to share it. So when, when there's a listener, when there's someone to receive your, you know, all your vulnerability and all your hopes and all your open heart, <laughs> you know, like it, it, it completes something. And the whole idea of uh, the fellowship band becomes a, an even bigger idea. It feels like a, a, a very kind of a holistic synergy that happens with the band that um, it, it speaks as one voice, but it's clearly five super accomplished musicians, uh, and each on their own trajectory uh, in their in their worlds. Uh, your your trajectory, Brian, has certainly been varied and busy. <clears throat> you, <clears throat> excuse me, got recordings and history with Joni Mitchell, as does John, and uh, even recorded with Bob Dylan, and um, of course. Um, 20 years with the great Wayne Shorter Quartet, uh, which you were th just through Seattle uh, last fall with that band and absolutely lit a fire in that concert of, that felt so great. That was such a wonderful event. Um, is it a, like a comfort to you to get back to this band? Is it something that's grounding? You, you must be very, very busy and travel an awful lot, but um, oh, yeah. this must feel like kind of home to you. Oh, absolutely. Always, um, you know, I, it, it, Thankfully, there are folks like you who, who, uh, who hear, our, hear our music and you invite us to come to Seattle. And it means a lot to us to have those opportunities, and we're thankful for it. And, you know, there, there, are, there aren't so many, you know. With, if I had my way, you know, everybody would uh, sort of get in the van and be gone for 10 months. And <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we, like you say, we all have you know, our individual lives. And the balance has, you know, it's... It's um, becoming more and more uh, something, thankfully, through our collective commitment to those times when we can come together, you know, everyone can, can be there. It's a beautiful thing. Let's hear some more music. I heard you warming up on uh, Shenandoah, uh, a tune you do so beautifully on Landmarks. Let's hear title track, I think, uh, title track on Landmarks, and then maybe go to that Shenandoah before we talk again. It's Brian Blade, the Fellowship Band here on KEXP 90.3, KEXP.org, around the world, and so many people tuning in and uh, uh, expanding this notion of community way beyond any geographical boundaries around the world. It's a wonderful thing. Brian Blade and the Fellowship Band on Jazz Theater. Thank you. 
That's gorgeous. <laughs> Small word. Brian Blade, Fellowship Band, KEXP Seattle, 90.3, part of Jazz Theater, uh, specifically on uh, 90.3 and KEXP.org and around the world, Zooming with uh, video and uh, lots of good goodwill, good feeling. I want to ask John Coward a couple of questions. John, you are... Uh, Co-founder of this ensemble, you and Brian went to school together like back in the twenties, right? <laughs> yeah, eighteen twenties. <laughs> <laughs> you are currently working with Cassandra Wilson, and um, like you have worked with so many people, like Iggy Pop, and like <laughs> uh, producing for Liz Wright, which I I know that work and respect that work. Roseanne Cash. Uh, Daniel Lanois, of course, has been plugged into this band a little bit, right. um, and uh, so many others. And um, I'm also curious and want to say congratulations on um, your part in um, kind of artistic directing the Joni Mitchell tribute concert at Hollywood Bowl, right? Mm, yeah, yes, Brian and I, yes. Wow. The two of us, yeah. Thank you. And how'd that go together? And like everybody in the world played on it. Right, and did you? So did you do the music? It was Brian and I both did the music. We kind of split up the arranging duties. Yeah. And who was on it? Uh, let's see. At the Hollywood Bowl was Cassandra Wilson and Chaka Khan, Glenn Hansard, Amy Mann, Herbie Hancock. Herbie was there. Yeah. Wayne. Wayne Shorter Wayne, was there. Yeah. Greg Lease on guitar. Yeah. Marvin Sewell, Jeff Haynes. Wow. Thomas. Tom Scott, yeah, Tom Chris Scott. Thomas. Yeah. Was Mark Isham at that one? Isham. Mark Isham. Thanks was for there. saying that. Yeah. I've always wondered. I always didn't know to say Isham or Isham yeah. on that. But thanks for saying that. Man, he did that in the 90s when people were doing uh, those Miles tributes. He did that Miles Remembered tribute. It was stunning. That was just, yeah, that's great. And, and Brian, and you toured with Joni for a number of years as well and appeared on uh, four or so recordings. John, were you on tour with her as well? No, no, yeah. I never toured. I was just, I fell down the U, the YouTube rabbit hole the other oh. day. I wound up on some uh, Joni, Joni Mitchell live uh, dates with uh, Jocko and the band and Pat oh. Metheny and stuff. And just incredible musicality. Um, what's ne What are you working on now? I mean, you what are you working on now? You've always got something in, in the uh, irons in the fire, and uh, what's up? Uh, I'm, I'm producing a couple of records in New York, a singer named Maria Neckham, and uh, about to produce a singer from Spain named Eva Cortez, doing some arranging for her, and, and then I've got some other projects coming up maybe, going to do some writing for yeah, fantastic. Great to see you here, uh, everybody. Great to see you guys here. It's always such a treat. And um, I know you came up from Portland on Portland Jazz Festival yesterday, right? Yeah. And um, wh where to now? What's the trajectory with the fellowship band? Uh, we have a few days off. Everyone goes home. Um, and then we meet up again uh, in the Midwest. Uh, well, actually start in Minneapolis and <laughs> Evanston, Illinois. And yeah. And end up in Toronto and take a little break again. It's always a treat to see you here. It's a it's a, um, an extra treat to be able to do this live in studio KEXP, uh, have it part of Jazz Theater, my show. I also want to say just to put it out there that I am the director of Earshot Jazz, and we are producing the concert. This this band uh, is in Seattle for. Uh, Today, the concert will already have happened, so the promotional value that we'll receive from this uh, airing about three days later is uh, marginal at best. But uh, <laughs> it's such a treat to have um, this band here in the studio and in the city and part of, of what we do here at KEXP. So thank you very much. You got one more tune to do from uh, uh, the... Um, uh, most recent release, uh, Landmarks 2016, uh, Grammy nominated. Tell us what that tune is and then um, let it rip. Yeah, it's uh, Farewell Bluebird. It's a 
Just one of those memory songs, but. Uh, <laughs> um, and the meaning of uh, the Bluebird being a code name for something? Yeah, yeah, it was a place uh, we used to frequent and have huevos rancheros and uh, <laughs> a lot of a lot of meals during college. So, very well. Bird, yeah. Thanks again so much for being with us. I want to yeah. say um, KEXP is such a great station, and what they do with this whole crew, and 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 just what they provide to people who are willing to, to listen and watch is, is incredible. So we're, we're thankful to be here today. I appreciate you saying that. And, yeah. and, I, and I'd even stretch it out a little bit to say that, you know, that you guys came here with a strong desire to be part of this radio station and to do the in-studio, I think is, it, it speaks to the strength of the station too and the, the reach that uh, these great sessions have had and yeah. will continue to have. So thank you so much for saying that. Thank you. KEXP Seattle, Brian Blade, Fellowship Band.
It's the Fellowship Band, Souls Have Been Saved, Chris Thomas on bass, Myron Waldron, Melvin Butler on saxophones, John Coward on keys, and Brian Blade, the drummer. Brian, thank you so much. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Safe travels, and uh, come back soon. It's KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.